The Chinese economy reopening is a very important factor that may change a few of the estimates going forward uh, for 2023. Uh, if we look, for example, at Australia, uh, growth estimates might increase by up to 1% only because of the reopening of China. However, the reopening of China has numerous ramifications and it's uh, certainly a positive, but but we must look at all the different aspects. First, commodity prices are starting to go up because of the largest importer of energy, the largest importer of commodities. China is coming back to growth. So that is one thing that is likely to impact inflationary pressures into 2023. The second thing that we need to take into account is that although the Chinese economy is reopening, and that is a positive, this does not offset the impact of the burst of the real estate bubble, and that is likely going to continue to generate lower growth for the Chinese economy. It's a good thing. It's a good thing that the real estate bubble is bursting. And it's important that the Chinese economy moves from a brick-heavy economy to a more uh, added value, services, technology, etc. driven economy. However, that transition is going to cost. And it's going to cost in terms of revenues for the regions and certainly for the growth of the economy. But the reopening is certainly a positive that is likely to lead to an improvement in the estimates of GDP growth for 2023. Does that change the problem of the global economy? Not really. Not really, because if we look at the problem of the global economy is the hangover of stimulus plans, is that the global economy is simply suffering the backlash of massive stimulus packages that have generated no real discernible uh, impact, certainly no multiplier effect, and are going to lead to much higher debt which is the flip side as well of the reopening of China. Reopening of China means global debt will likely increase yet again in 2023, and that obviously is something that needs to be monitored in an environment of higher rates.